or my name is Jan Gustafsson. I am the number two chess player in Germany, which is more or less like being the number two curler in Malaysia. But fortunately for us, we brought a proper chess player, eight-time Russian champion, former World Cup winner, and former boy group member, if I recall correctly. Peter Svidler is here. How are you doing, Peter? Oh, better off the food, as usual. Oof, I'm tired. I want a nap. Well, who doesn't want a nap? But uh, instead of a nap, we will be playing some more Blitz, which is uh, how things should be. That's second best thing after napping. Snapping, blitzing, watching TV. Yeah. Those are all the things I do. Pretty much. Yeah. So challenge us on Chess24 if you happen to be a premium member. You can challenge my account, which is Jan. The name should be below the video, I hope. If not yet, you can find it out. J-A-N. And we will be taking all challenges to warm up because after this show, we'll be talking about Blitz instead of playing it ourselves. Because those who come to talk, so this is our last chance to get in a bit of playing. For sure. Who shall we play? Oh. People. I need someone weak. Some offense to the next opponent. <laughs> How, how can I never have played this guy? I feel like I've played Theorist like 18,000 times. And it's a zero I haven't. Now maybe it's Theory that I've played. <clears throat> E4. What shall we do? Do we just play straight up? Uh, let's go. Yeah. I mean, how much, how much more disrespect can we pile on today? Disrespect? Who did we disrespect? And why? Oh, well, you said some offense to our next opponent. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's true. That is true. Uh, I was going to suggest a6, but uh, it might be taken. a6, no, I can't do that. The chess gods, they don't like such level of okay. disrespect. Fair enough. Um, How about a6 here? Yeah, here it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure it's better than queen a5. I even know Magnus only goes queen a5 after c3. D4 is what you're supposed to hope for, no? When you play yeah, pretty much, yeah. I think. Take and now knight f6, knight mm -hmm. c3, e5 was the great point. The most impressive point we were. Yeah, the problem with a6 is make. that white goes c3 or even g3. Or c4. Or c4. Yeah, pretty much anything but this. Now I'm out of book. Bishop b4 looks nice and active. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I don't really understand why knight takes e5 is a mistake, but. Um, Take some strong by our castle and I'll somehow regain the pawn, no? Yeah, for sure. But uh, maybe we could have started with knight c6, but I don't think this necessarily is a mistake. There was a guy in my Pioneer's Palace who used to do this against me with black and beat me, uh, beat me senseless. Uh, because I just wouldn't learn. I kept on playing d4 because you, you go e4 against this, you, you, you get faced with the civilian, you play knight f3, you play d4 and move 4. And uh, even though people tried explaining to me that I'm not forced to, I kept on landing in these positions. Speaking of not forced to, I'm not exactly sure why I started by taking on c3, but I did. Yeah. yeah you could also just play it a lot quieter in general. Like uh... It's not how we operate. Yeah, it's not how we operate. I'm also trying to figure out if we're losing by, by doing this, but probably not, yeah. I was also a bit curious. Queen takes e4, queen c3, some king e2, but I can still castle. So yeah, I guess, yeah we, I think the king king gets uh, uh, to safety in time. And uh, Zechstein says, hello, Jan. Hello, the other guy. Hello, Zechstein. Do you watch that movie, The Other Guys? It's one of my favorites. Uh, no. What is it? Mm -hmm. Well, no, I guess the rough genre would be buddy cop comedy with the talents of Mark Wahlberg and Will Ferrell. Mm. I may have seen bits, but even that I'm not so sure about. You're, you know, for somebody who is uh, self-professed tired and in, in badly in need of a nap, you are yep. extremely aggressive. Yep. I tend to get more aggressive when I'm sleepy. And wow, Lonu 2906 is saying, I'm a peacock, you gotta let me fly. That's a the other guy's reference. 
We're friends now, for life. Lono, 2906. It was consensual. This is uh, getting weirder by, by, by the second. We try. But the position is good. I'm a pawn up for nothing. Yeah, that is that is very true. And uh, thanks for subbing QTZ. Or resubbing, as the case may be. Feels like we should be winning a piece here. Let's go e4, d4, g5, and take on d2. Mm. You're not taking the piece. Ah, uh, no? queen takes d5. Okay, yeah, queen takes d5 would be a bit of a problem with my plan. Yeah, not going to be able to do it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sad. Extremely sad. We did miss knight b3 here, right? Speak for yourself. I have a plan for knight b3. Okay. Fair enough. But yeah, I did miss it. Yeah, I guess d takes c4 still sort of works. Yeah? I want a queen c3 and then have oh. a look around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now we are back to completely crushing, I guess. I'm not so sure. Theorist is more resilient than one would think. Sorry, I'll, I literally have nothing to say, which bodes well for the upcoming three hours of Blitz commentary. <laughs> yeah, uh, we, we all have that to look forward to. But I think maybe the players will bail us out by uh, providing plenty of excitement and, and general uh, high-level chess, which is obviously not what people tune in for when they watch this show. Wow, it's very hurtful. It was intended as such. Uh, I don't think we can win a piece, but we can be completely winning position after Queen takes d5. Take it nice and slow. September 27 says, two banters from Jan and Peter. I can get used to it, to this. So, sadly, we, we can't promise this will be the usual fare. We'll do some banters on the rest day of Norway Chess, which is June 7th. And until then, we'll have our hands full by doing yeah. the, the show. We'll start 5 p.m. every day today. The Blitz starts 6.30, our time, whatever time zone we're in. And after that, it's going to be 5 p.m. until probably <coughs> midnight. So we'll be... Longish days. Yeah. Should I take or should I stay? Yeah. So many questions. So many unanswered questions. Yeah. I mean, the the young game is completely winning. With queens on, we might give mate eventually. So yeah, let's let's keep the queens on. Mm -hmm. It's just too many choices. Brogan is saying late to the show. I imagine you already discussed this. But Jan and Peter, what are your thoughts on the points format for the upcoming tournament? We didn't actually discuss it, no. not even in the previous show today. So the format is, if I understood you correctly, that if one player wins the game straight up, in the classical portion he gets two points. Yeah, it's 2 zero. And if the game ends in a draw, they each get half a point, and then there will be an Armageddon game. Whoever wins that... For a full point, yeah gets another full point. Mm -hmm. So you can score one and a half half by winning in the Armageddon, two by winning in the Classical, and half by losing in the Armageddon, or zero by losing in the Classical. Those are your choices. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think it I makes, like it. I think it makes sense, in particular once you uh, land, with the, you land on this idea of having Armageddon's decide your uh, classical drawn uh, games, you, you you have to do something like this, I guess, because uh, a classical win still has to uh, has to be preferred to an Armageddon win. Right. But all in all, I mean, something something like this has been discussed for ages. It's not uh, an entirely novel idea, but uh, it will be interesting to see how it, uh, how they go. Yeah, in general, there's many things I like about the format. I'm also Usually against increment, at least from move one, and they don't have that. I believe it's yeah two hours 
for 40 moves and then you get some increment after move 41 but no further time yeah it's basically two hours for the full for, for the whole game but you do you, you do start getting uh i believe 10 seconds per move from move 41 onwards uh which will lead to uh basically the uh something with the eternal mind was what i was going for but i can't remember how that quote goes um there will be non-stop time troubles for uh well everybody uh, i wanted to say for, for for some people but i think this tournament kind of ensures that unless the game is some kind of a theoretical drawer and uh, ends by move 25 uh, people will just have eternal eternal time troubles uh, and that's fun to watch it's uh, arguably slightly less fun to uh, to play but a lot a lot more fun to watch <clears throat> I missed Queen C5, which made this game a lot less fun to watch. I still went on time, but I'm not that excited about my finishing move here. Mm. Yeah, we can, we can take, I guess. With that. that leads to a perpetual. Uh, i can be able to do that. It's so complicated. Yeah, maybe Queen F4 check there. and oh, Okay. Just winning on time is, is always a... a a good thing to come uh, to to rely on all right we need we need to change the format to to wake up what do you want to do shall we play more blindfold chess yeah i'm up. I really i'm really not sure i can hold any position i'm up for i'm up for some blindfold sure <clears throat> do you want the very filthy thing or shall we yeah. look for another way to cover your eyes yeah there was this huge mexican hat but like it's it's does extremely it cover your heavy eyes? it does it does cover your eyes very very Efficiently, it also weighs a ton. I can't find the sombrero. Oh, it's gone, yeah. I don't know. Someone must have taken it. Someone. These things are even more disgusting. Like yeah, them. like mm -hmm. if that's the other choice, I I'll go with the Santa Claus. Santa Claus, it is. Uh. Hmm. Burns is saying, you're going to make me watch you again. If you two weren't so damn charming, I would go do something else. What yeah. else would you do? Exactly. Come on. As if, as if there are options. Game of Thrones is over. Okay. All set. All right. Let the games begin. You have the white pieces against VS85, 1774. Let's go 1E4. Wow. This is a good look for you. C5. Knight of 3. Interesting. G6. Hmm. This is annoying. Let's go D4. Aggressive. C takes d4. Let's take with the queen. Let's see how well he knows this theory. I don't know this Knight theory. Knight f6. Uh, e5. Uh, I always go knight c3. Knight c6 played. Queen a4. He's thinking. That's a good sign. Nope. Knight to d5. Queen e4. Knight to b6. Yeah, I was wondering why they just don't, don't, don't just do that. Don't they? Maybe they do, yeah. As I said, I don't really know anything here. Uh, Yeah, I have no idea why I thought this was a good idea. <laughs> That's a good sentence. Bishop d3. d5. Uh, en passant. Wow. Queen takes d6.
Let's see, three, I guess. Bishop F5. Not B5. Whoa. Drama, baby. Well, I don't know about drama, but trying to confuse him. I think I'm only succeeding in confusing myself, but. I'm confused, but I'm mainly sweating. Like we let the lights, we have all these lights so you can see the white background behind us in full white. We let them on while we went for lunch, and it's like 18,000 degrees. <laughs> yeah, this may have been a misplay. <clears throat> Bishop takes e4, speaking of, may have been a misplay. Knight takes d6, check. Ed. Bishop takes. d5. Bishop d3. Bishop g7. Okay. So slightly more cheerful than I deserved, but maybe still nothing. Why would this be nothing? Because I need to stop some jumps. I'm not sure I can. Let's go C3. Done. You have 238, he has 325. Fair enough. Castles, short castles. Bishop b3. Rook a d8. Mm, interesting. Bishop takes b6. Hmm. 205 versus 303. A takes b6. Long castle. d4. c4. Hmm. Knight b4. King b1. Things are looking up. Not you, but your position. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even sure about that, to be honest, but... Rook a8. Whoa. a3. He'll take on d3 and go rook a4 now, I guess. Yeah? I don't know. But you can instruct me how I should react to knight takes d3. Yeah, well, you should probably recapture. Playing well, this guy. He took on d3. You yeah. recaptured. Good. Rook a c8. Hmm. Rook c1. Rook f d8. B3. This is some very questionable chess culture approach. Bishop h6. Yeah, extremely questionable. Rook d1. Rook takes c4. Rook b6. Am I just going to lose to this d1 now? Or? D3. Knight e5. <clears throat> C 
stakes is high. Rook Extremely. CD4. Rook E7. Extremely high. <clears throat> you have 116, here's 125. Rook F4. Is that a move? Uh, rook takes D3. Rook takes d3. Knight takes d3. Uh, rook d4. King c2. Position looking good now? Yeah, I'm, I feel slightly safer. Wow. Rook d6. Uh, b4. Bishop f4. I would like to take that. Done. And he resigned. Wow. Yeah, that was Tough kind fight. of dodgy at some point. Yeah, when he went rook cd4, I felt like you'd manage. Uh, and here I wasn't sure what was going on. Maybe you're just in time. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was very scared somewhere around here, mm -hmm. but it seems like maybe it's holding. Because yeah. he, can, he can go for the pin, but. Like rook c5, knight d3, but rook c5, I have rook takes d3. Yeah, rook g3. Uh -huh. yeah I, I only spotted it later in the game in a similar spot. Yeah, maybe I'm fine, but I was I was quite scared somewhere around here. I can imagine. Good game, sir. Also, pretty good game by VS85. Yeah, that was uh, up to a point. I guess uh, he, he got slightly nervous on lower time, but yeah, up to a point, it was a very, very sensibly played game by our opponent. All right. Let's play Mr. Chess Explained, mm -hmm. international master of chess and chess24 streamer extraordinaire. All of those things. Mm -hmm. C4, only move. Well, I think he did a video series on the English, but it wasn't only move. G3. Anyway, G3? Yeah. Okay. Knight C6. Knight C3, that's what the experts do. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's bishop G2, F5. Oh, yeah, I, I can see why that would be a... <clears throat> A thing. Yeah, let's do that. And I don't like the system with a6. I think it's Mr. Dodgy. And I'm surprised Chess explained. Big theoretician would go for this. But he seems he seems to be making moves quickly and confidently. Do we need to stop Bishop G4 at some point? Not yet. Yeah, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll just go to five. Yeah, this has to be quite decent for us. I know all this because I had a game against Philip Schlosser in real chess where I went knight takes d4, which is also decent. But I put this position in the computer and the computer was very happy for what somehow. Mm. I guess there's potential on the queen side. Sometimes, of course, the computer underestimates. Like if you were to go c5 and we'd do nothing, he'd have some strategic potential. But I think it's unpleasant for black. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's you, you don't normally like going f e3 in this structure, but trading off the, the bishop on a7 is more important. Mm -hmm. And now we have all kinds of c5 ideas in perpetuity. Drawbreaker saying, Jan revealing match prep. Yeah, I revealed all that prep in that game against Philip Schlosser in 2015 already. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, as long as his knight on d6 does not get stable, we should be in pretty good shape. Mm -hmm. Probably has to play g6, and maybe I'll just push my ponzies. Yeah, pushing the ponzies feels... Queen g5, maybe we'll just rook a1, and it doesn't look very stable. Or so I would think. Hmm. Yeah. He's pretending he has activity on the king side. Does that bother me? You know, we're not bothered. We're not? I'm mildly bothered. We are ever so slightly bothered, maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. 
The thing is, to do this. like after knight e4, queen g6, c5, uh, h4, hg3 is still not a threat, I think. So we can just continue on our merry way in the center. So I'm very tempted to go king h1, h4, g4, but it's probably a bit silly. All right, normal chess. And uh, C complex asked uh, an opening question in Twitch chat. And uh, the answer there is sometimes the bishop actually goes to h3 if black plays f5 early on with the bishop on f1. I think that's one of the part of the reason at least, right? There's some knight of three, knight h4, and bishop h3. Yeah, 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 there were some reasons. <clears throat> but I'm very confused by this position now. Hg3 is not a threat. We don't need to protect no, against it. No, I just want to make a move. <clears throat> yeah. G6 is a move. Yeah, then he takes rook d8. I didn't like it. Mm, maybe, yeah. Yeah, actually, rook of 3 is just perfectly fine. No, knight g3 is not h4, so there are drawbacks. <clears throat> Even that, like, that endgame probably is actually quite decent for us, but let's not do that. He goes bishop d7, what do we do? Because we can't at least immediately double on the f-file because of bishop b5. Mm. Nonsense. It's upsetting. Yeah. Now the time has come. f5, how much should I care about that? f5 I don't think we care, but bishop f5 we might. Nah, bishop f5 I don't care about. Okay. Then the two of us combined just don't care <laughs> combined, about Combined, we don't have a care in the world. Yeah, pretty much. We are the most carefree of people. Just look at us. <laughs> Careless, at the very least. My plan after f5 is just to go dc7. What's your plan after bishop takes? Bishop f5? Hmm. Move the rook. Probably all the way back. Hmm. And if he goes rook d8? Then I'll come up with a new plan. Queen d5, maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure how clean any of this is. Nope. Mm -hmm. Or frankly, even this, yeah. I miss this move, I have to admit. I think we're in... Somehow our good position became less good. I think we're in insignificant doo-doo. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe it must be after Bishop before we wars, but Nigel 4 is even, even more upsetting. Hmm. Okay. I have a feeling you lost faith in our position. Your feeling is not misplaced, yeah. Sort of unpleasant. As are many other things, but yeah, 1993 in particular. We're being badly beaten up by... The problem is you only look at the position on the board. Well, I mainly study the position on the clock, and there we're soundly ahead. That is true. I don't know how much this will be, how relevant this will be against somebody who is as experienced and as savvy mm. as Mr. I don't know if he can even explain himself what he would do. <laughs> mm, no. It's not good. No. D1 doesn't work. Nothing, nothing really works here, but. <clears throat> but. Yeah, maybe do go D7 actually and. <clears throat> Then go knight c5 after he goes g6 and f5 and pretend we have threats which we we have all the threats in the world you're so pessimistic that's my brand no i don't know i thought it was speaking truth to power what power that's fair enough <laughs> <clears throat> oh. I think I'm actually reasonably famous, at least in certain circles, of, uh, as, as somebody who never speaks any truth to any power. Oh, well. But... <clears throat> yeah, he good. He's slow. Yeah, rook takes e5 was... Well, yeah, let's do, it. let's do it now. Yeah, this is a better version. <coughs> That was a mouse sleep, probably. No, I was expecting king e6, bishop c4. I was thrilled. Yeah, no, this is now like a position you might conceivably not lose. What are you talking about? The position has been winning for a long time. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Who am I to disagree with this 
infinite wisdom. <clears throat> Just continue collecting, yeah. Yeah, Doji says, to be frank, Peter once almost stood up to CPK. That is true. Yeah, and then I backed down shamefully and... Okay, those are also powers you don't want to mess with. Oh, it's we like just... Austin powers. We're crushing. I'm crushing all the way, like I tried to explain to you. This balance is very important. Anyway, good game by Chess Explained. Sorry for all the flagging and nonsense. I'm still confused though, because we had a good position, but then it went downhill very quickly. Maybe knight e4 was too early. I can start with c5. Well, h5. Yeah, we can start with c5, but we still have to have some kind of a reaction mm. to h4. And uh, I still feel I should have gone g4, but maybe it's just maybe. But also, yeah. like my idea of just going knight e4 and let's say d6 there, just to completely ignoring uh, the hg3 ideas. Man. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I could just take nice takes. Yeah, yeah. Maybe rook d8 immediately, though. Yeah. Because, uh, <clears throat> Peter is not vegan. Chess Explain is blaming the mouse pad. We kind of believe that, at, <coughs> least, at least partly, but. I'm trying to think of some joke of bringing a mouse pad to a mouse fight, but I can't make it work cause you actually need a mouse pad. Yeah. Um, let's play. Shakmake. Let's. You're the brain. I'm the hand. Okay. The hand of the slit. Pawn. Queen. Wow. Must not be pawned down. Normally, they teach beginners not to bring the queen out too early. Because the queen can be chased around. Knight. Pawn. I like d5 actually. g6. I'm sure you wanted g6. No. Okay. Knight. Pawn. Russian chess school. Yeah. b4 is like a reverse Grunfeld. Sort of, yeah. Um, That's a good move by our opponent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pawn. I like the approving knot. I feel like... <clears throat> no, it's actually the first time ever I got any approving knot. So I don't know what it feels Queen. like. Positive reinforcement is extremely important. You want to keep saying pawn? I'm on board with it. How this changes the equation? Well, uh, not really. Pawn? No, no, but I was planning h5 and now h5 <laughs> looks wrong. Yeah. Whoa, king. Too aggressive, sir. But maybe that was the plan all along. Still too aggressive. He's winning in the game of three checks by, by a distance. What are you talking about? It's his first check. Yeah, but it feels like he's winning. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's literally 1-1. One, one. Why are you, like, <laughs> do I not get, do, do I not get, like, I, I'm entitled to my feelings, am I not? Pawn. <clears throat> Facts don't have feelings. Wow, that sounded wrong. No, that sounded about right, but uh, I still feel extremely, uh, extremely upset. And now he's leading. Personally attacked, king. Now your statement would be factual. Yeah, and if he goes queen h five here, I feel like maybe he's watching, and then he would sure. claim a win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, how do we fight against the third? I think it's very difficult for us to fight against the third check here, so we should just Is ignore it? it. It's very difficult. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, I'm uh, confused. Queen. I mean, that does not stop the third check. Nothing stops the third check in this position. King h7. Ah, yeah, that's fair. 
couldn't bring myself to do it. No, 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 I'm not endorsing it, but you know how literal I am about these things. The good news is we are up to pieces. Yes. Yeah, Jan is clearly team facts over team feelings. Bishop. Hmm. It's partly because I don't have any feelings. But only partly. Yep. It's also because I like facts. Not sure that's factual. I'll allow it, but uh, yeah, it's uh, there are some questions there. Knight. Let's return some material. So aggressive. Uh, I wanted to say knight, but I mean, if you want to, if you want to bishop, let's let's do bishop. I oh, want to say knight. Sorry, it's your call. Does Jan prefer being two pieces up or a rook? As an as an author of a book about being a rook up, I think Jan. Future bestseller. Knight. I feel it's easier. Being a rook up. Um, maybe. Bishop. Hmm. So many options, so little time. Well, king. We made it to an end game. <laughs> Queen. <laughs> yeah, come on. Rook. Another stunning turn of events. Have you ever played Daniel Noroditsky? Not in the 22 seconds we have left. Rook. Yeah, I forgot about that. Sorry, King. Quinn. Quinn. Bishop. I've never played Daniel Noroditsky. I've met Dirk Nowitzki. That's the closest I've come. Have you? Met is a strong word for you. Once we had a match Germany-Hungary in some Hungarian sports hotel. The German national basketball team was having their whatever preparation for the Euros there. And we saw him at breakfast. Yeah, I would remember that too. Hmm. I can see why it made such a lasting impression on you. For sure. It's tall. Now what do we do? Yeah, it really isn't very unclear. Let's play Ayonu2906 because he's watched the other guys. So yeah. he can't be a bad person. I'll just play the opening, then I'll hand it over. I okay. think that's how chess should be played. Yeah, I think uh, that would be a, a welcome change in my current state, if I could just delegate the opening to some people. You're very high on that list. Boom. I always think, like, if after 15 moves, one has 0, 30. The interesting debate is over, then why continue playing? That is very okay. fair. Eight. I just noticed that 1367 is rating and not 2906. I actually thought his rating was 2906. So now I'm less confused about rookie 8 because it looks too slow. Should play e5 or c5 or something. Frankly, I think he successfully debated you into into playing a four, and now he can play e5. And yeah, yeah, I understand, but it's still an indicator that we're favorites in this game. Well, now we are. Yeah. Yeah. And there's clamoring in chat for us to play the bonk cloud, but I think this is the wrong channel for bonk cloud. Yeah, I have mixed feelings about these things. I understand. They could be fun, it's just, I feel slightly disrespectful to your opponent if you take it too far, I don't know, like, yeah. I think I might be 
too uptight about these things. But in general, I don't like playing too crappy opening because it feels like <clears throat> lack of respect. Yeah, I remember in one of my uh, later Monaco's, Lev played like two two absolutely disgustingly bad openings against me towards the end of the tournament, beat me to zero. Like the combined length of the games was like maybe thirteen five moves, maybe <laughs> forty at most. I just played horribly that day, and also I got kind of pissed off at his opening choices, frankly. Uh, and uh, in a somewhat shocking turn of events, he actually came to me later later that day and said, sorry, I probably shouldn't have done that. Not the 2-0, but the opening choices. Mm. Uh, then again, if he won the games easily, you could argue it was plus CV. At yeah, the moment, so. yeah, sure. I didn't really expect an apology because I played so horribly that day that honestly his choices were immediately explained. Uh, but yeah, still. Yeah, I feel if you play some dubious opening because you feel like it gives you a bad chance to whatever, get the theory nerd like me out of book, that's obviously a fair game. But if you just play it to have a bad position and then to show you can still win from a bad position, like I feel it's a little rude sometimes. Yeah. But then again, yeah, I think I'm overthinking these things. What's Mr. Doji also points out that my statement of having mixed feelings contradicts my prior statement of having no feelings. Which I guess is correct. Doji is on his game today. Calling us out for the smallest inconsistencies. He is wise beyond his years. Yeah. And that's not easy because his years are very advanced. Isn't he like 30? I referred you to, to your earlier statement that he's at least 38 and looks 48. But wow. now you're doing the same thing he did, like pointing out me contradicting my earlier statements. In Germany, we have the football legend Franz Beckenbauer, who said, Was schert mich mein Geschwätz von gestern? Which means, I don't care about the crap I said yesterday. Mm. Then again, I did say it today, so it's maybe different. Uh, let's do the thing. What's the thing? Well, the, the H-bomb thing? No, come on, let's take, let's take the, the icon. Take the thing? No, he has knight takes c5. As many moves as knight takes c6, yeah. I'm, I'm, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is, ah, oh. <laughs> this is, it's physical pain. You, 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 you do realize. I was hoping for that effect. <laughs> this is causing me actual physical discomfort for us not to take on passant here. Oh, I'm not kidding. I was not aware <laughs> because I didn't look at the board that en passant was a legal option. <laughs> okay. I thought you meant knight takes e6, but no. I couldn't really get myself to do it. <laughs> no. We struggled with this en passant rule historically. It is true, but normally we struggle on the side of trying to play that move even when it's illegal and not not playing it when it's very legal and correct, you know. So we are expanding. We are incorporating new things into our uh, repertoire here. That's important. It is. <coughs> In German, we have the saying, Wenn ich mit der Zeit geht, muss mit der Zeit gehen. Which means, if you don't go with the times, you have to go over time. Say what? Yeah, I'm not saying it made any sense. Uh, sayings are not our specialty. No. <laughs> Neither are playings, but. Uh, wow. <laughs> uh, yeah. mm. G4, maybe? I like my knight on h3. That is true. Why did you put it on g5? Yeah. <laughs> it kind of begs the question, mm. but... Yeah, let's let's do that. Attack! Or at least pretend to attack so that they get scared and trade the queens off. Ugh, but I don't want to trade the queens. Look. Back to square five. Boom! <laughs> The house fork. Fork that one up, Yono. This is the best day of my life. It's true. And 
and Yanu 2906 resigns. Okay, we need to bring some more chess culture in here. And I think, as much as it hurts me to do it, I might have to give you the mouse for that. Okay. What but are you doing? I will handpick your opponent. Fair enough. By clicking on them. Ma, he clicked on me. Wow. Recently retired Franck Ribéry. <clears throat> Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I regret my decision to give you the mask. <clears throat> See? Boom! I've been watching you. I've, I've worked out what to do when this happens. Nice, nice, nice. Who that? Ribéry. He's a beloved character in both France and Germany. Even the small controversies he got himself into about having sex with minor prostitutes, allegedly. Or eating a steak made out of solid gold could not say what distract from his. What was that second one? I think he ate a steak. Probably wasn't made out of solid gold, but it had like solid gold on top of it. It was a steak for fifteen hundred euros, which sounds cheap for a gold steak to me. So anyway, he's a beloved player for Bayern Munich. No, this much together I knew. with Iron Robin, they formed a lethal. Wing tandem over many a year. And he recently retired. So now he has time for some chess. He's already a feeder master after two weeks in retirement. And who knows what his ceiling is. As long as he can stay away from Karim Benzema, I don't think there's any stopping Ribéry's chess career. Some solid knowledge, solid gold knowledge dropped there by. Yeah, and I don't even follow football, as you know. So <clears throat> I just follow Ribéry. He does know his theory. Does he? I'm not sure this is. Although with knight g6 on the board. Blitz I'm... out knight g6 like that? Yeah, I'm Impressive. revising. I'm revising my my estimates upwards here. And some stickler for facts saying he's not retired. He just left Bayern. That's pretty much retiring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. how, how do I do here? I could tell you, but I won't. Fair. Can't argue with that. I can maybe make a draw by playing bishop f3, but uh, it's not a particularly attractive idea. <clears throat> Becoming progressively annoyed about this. Let's just make a move of some description. Nah, take your time. Um, That's not a good move, but I just, like at this point, I just felt I had to make a move of some description. That's a move. Yeah, it's, it's a legal move. It doesn't lose in one move. It might lose eventually, but... Some more details on the Ribéry steak coming in. It was a gold-covered tomahawk steak. Yeah, I kind of disagree with the idea of not playing knight f4 in that position. I think making me sweat for another move and making me choose a square for the bishop was very beneficial. Hmm. Not that Still he's doing fine. Now. Yeah, it's completely yeah, it's whatnot. completely fine for black. But I'm saying like I, I wasn't sure I had equality after uh, after the knight f4. Uh, e5, c5, I guess, yeah. Is his point. But has he considered... This Who in their right mind would consider this move? This stupid move. Well, I just have. <laughs> so let's go. Wow. I don't think it's any good at all, but it looks fun, so... I'm, I'm going with that. Still the best day of my life. All this f4 induced fun is making it even better. I mean d4, f5, knight, knight h4 or knight h8 are fine, I guess, for black, but at least fine. But uh, do I care? I do not. Dutch defender is saying most people don't speak Dutch here. That's shocking. Where is that? Where are you based, Dutch defender? 
So we have successfully kind of rounded this thing up, but we don't know what to Still do. Still need with to it. eat it. Yeah. So Ribéry with a golden steak. Exactly. I must have got Bishop C8, I suppose. Yeah? I haven't followed the chess part at all. Oh, I can blame you. I haven't followed the chess part either. And I'm, oops, sorry, and I'm playing the chess part. Hmm. Yeah, that does make sense. Okay. Wow. With regrets. We... He's so happy. He's so happy his horse he got out. Yeah. But he missed rook fd2. Touch of class there. I'm not sure it's any good, but yeah, I was it's better than the alternatives. Yeah, I think I would tend to agree with that. Whoops. Fork check. Let's maybe not blunder a fork. <clears throat> Not doing too horribly here. Why would you be? You've finally established the Kraken. Yep. And Ribéry is injury prone. So if this Kraken stays around for long enough, he might get hurt. Yeah, I think I'm significantly better now. Congratulations. Do you still think so after Bishop D7? Yeah. Wow. You're looking for forks? Yeah, I'm looking for something. Some forks are lurking. Yeah, I'm not sure about knight of five. Maybe I should have given the check first, but I didn't want to allow some rook trades. Thought after rook c8 I'm coming in, but maybe I actually am coming in after rook c7. Feels to me like he might actually have, have to give me this exchange, like play knight c5 or whatever, but I still have b4. I might be close to winning, actually. It's a nice. Because this, this knight is significantly better than this knight. Yeah. I always try to keep track of where the knights can go. I watch a lot of Fox News, for example. <coughs> Yeah, this has to be <coughs> pretty much winning. Apologies, I, <coughs> I have this extremely annoying allergic cough. I couldn't, I have... I Apologies haven't. not accepted. Ugh. Apologies for spilling all the coffee. <coughs> okay. Yeah, this has to be made now. I should have to rook c8, do I have mate? Because <laughs> he will give me a... So I have to go 97 check, it's just so regrettable. <clears throat> but I think I have to. Master Gambit is asking, Hi Peter, will there be any game of the day analysis in the future? Well, we are somewhat undecided on this because the shows will end, like the actual live chess will end at about midnight. It's a tricky schedule, so yeah, probably. Normally we need like an hour, hour and a half to actually analyze the game of the day, then another half hour, hour to record it. So I don't think it will be done at 3 a.m. If there are some super highlights, it might be done the next day, but yeah. we frankly have to see how it goes the first day and how it yeah. if anybody is oh. at any time. Hmm. Great game against Luca Toni and Franck Ribéry. Because I think they're colluding, they're hanging out there together, discussing what goes where. Rook G7 was made in three, people say, was it? Mm -hmm. Just for... No, no, probably not here. Probably. Yeah, yeah, no, I know what position. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I should have... I'm, I'm an idiot. I should have gone Rook G7 checked before Rook D7. Yeah. Ah, you could have started with the, with the Rook. Yeah, forcing the, king, oh, okay. forcing the king into the corner was... No one forces the king into a corner. Correct. Uh, will they play Armageddon after all of the classical asks bis from Ukraine or directly after their game? No, it's pretty it's pretty certain it will be 
It's 11 after, every day, yeah? Yeah, uh, definitely after everything is finished. And I think they set a precise time for it because they obviously want to, uh, to have a TV scheduled that uh, the TV channels can stick to. Yep. We should explain. The media landscape. There is an official free show from on site with Judith Polgar and Anna Rudolph that obviously everybody can watch. We are doing our little Chess 24 show, which is for premium members only, but we are being given cameras from on site so we can watch what the players are doing. And we, of course, very much hope to get some company. But yeah, that's the deal. Our show is for premium members only. There is also an official free show. And there are shows in different languages on good old Chess 24. I think we have a Spanish and a French show mm. as well. Maximilien d'Allemagne sounds like a guy who speaks every language. He's from Belgium, so he probably speaks French, Dutch. He's also d'Allemagne, which means he's from Germany, so he probably speaks German too. Probably speaks English as well. Wow, this guy is a machine. Yeah, I will check him. Probably not a good move, but I like to get, get a head start in the three checks competition. Can we scroll the Twitch window a bit? Because I think we're... Scroll it! I'm hoping for C3. That's really my main and only hope here. Did not happen. Upsetting. Exceedingly upsetting, yeah. And yeah, there will be some somewhat unusual competition this uh, this time round as well, uh, because I think uh, Hikaru will be streaming the entire tournament. Right, <clears throat> as people mentioned in chat. So we live in the golden age. <clears throat> Chess is getting ever more popular. Maximilian is putting up a fight here. Don't fight it, Maximilian. Yeah, I'm not sure we played this optimally, but we're still doing okay. What do you mean we? You're making all the moves and now you're blaming it on me? <clears throat> yeah, Grenade 5 is. I don't know, 92, I don't really see. A follow up. Well, it's a cheaper. That's why I wanted it in the first place, but now I'm having second thoughts. Yeah, let's go for a different cheaper. Exactly. Uh, promise any sensible move stopped the different cheaper. But also yeah, let's go. Let's go for the. Let, let's uh, be sticklers for the different cheaper. Mm -hmm. Please allow my cheapo, Maximilian, d'Allemagne. Feels like if he doesn't allow you a cheaper, we will be forced into some unfortunate contortions. I'll take him after and be worse. Yeah, exactly. Actually, I don't have to just castle. But then why would I have played all this nonsense? Exactly. Maximilian! Qu'est-ce que tu fais? We there we go. Mm, Certainly, Bishop takes a not seem to two, work. But so Queen, four. Queen four is good enough. Very sad about this too. So sad. Ah, maybe I should try to centralize both in front of the camera and on the board. But yeah, now it's a pawn up, and if he takes g7, rook g8, we'll probably regain the g2 pawn. So things are looking good. Yeah, things are looking perfectly fine here, yeah. Extra pawn in an endgame and more time. So basically your absolute natural habitat. No, I prefer extra rook in an endgame and more time. But 
This is, I just did a video series, I'm not sure when it's coming out, it might be coming out today actually, with Josef Dorfmann on his method in chess, which mm. he used like different elements in the position to judge the position. And I thought about it, I actually learned a lot from the video series, there's a lot of food for thought, but I still think that my personal method might be more effective, which is try to take a rook, it's the first element, try to take a pawn if that doesn't work, flag them if neither of the two work. Yeah, that I think is... Uh... And you can combine the three, like rook is obviously the most important, it's a degressive scale, there's a hierarchy there. So if you can grab a rook, grab that rook, but if you can't, try to grab that pawn. And if you can't do either of these things, you can always flag them. Like here, for example, I'm trying to grab a pawn. I've already grabbed one pawn. And, and now you're grabbing a rook. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, this is unfortunate. I think we kind of play bishop h2 check yeah, and grab a rook. I could, but it's... Uh, it's yeah, then we lose, which is... Un, 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 steep price to pay. Yeah. So that didn't work, but still, the effort trying to grab a rook and to grab a pawn and flagging him. Sometimes they put so much pressure on the opponent that you win the game in a different way. For sure. So, all right, what time is it? Oh, we still have time, we still have time. Yeah, we can still do another 30 minutes or so before we wow. go on. A... I will, once again, choose an opponent for you. And this one, you will be very surprised by. Because it would normally be the type of opponent that I would dare to face myself. But not this time, Larry N.S. And we get a well played from Maximilian in chat saying, I didn't see Bishop H4. You could still have castle there, you were doing very Yeah, yeah, yeah. Castle is fine. Yeah, you Knight have... F2, Rook F2, Queen E3, Queen E2, and I don't know who's better. It might be white, actually. I think it is white, yeah. yeah. I, was, I was getting mildly upset there, but we got bailed out. Can I interest you in a Cotterhole beverage? Uh, nope. Thank Four. you. Um, do we know if the Norway games will be rated by FIDE given the unusual format? The classical games for sure. Uh, whether the Armageddon games will be rated as Blitz or uh, arguably Rapid, I do not know. Because like by my standards, the time control they're using for the Armageddon games, which is uh, 10 minutes for uh, the white player and 7 minutes for the black player, is closer to, sl to very quick rapid than it is to a slow blitz. To my eyes, this is not, this is not really blitz. It's, uh, it's way too slow to be called blitz. But uh, I'm pretty sure they will be rated anyway. It's just a question of which list uh, they will use it for. And Maximilian says Armageddon cannot be rated. I, would, I was actually not aware of that. I learned something today. Uh, and Joe Breaker also confirms that. I honestly was not aware of that at all, so uh, I thank he, I thank the the all knowing uh, Chess Twenty Four chat for this little bit of info. But yeah, I mean the classical games obviously will be rated. What's uh, uh, how can you not? What could possibly be the reason for for not doing that? Where is Jan, says the higher space. Jan has gone to get himself a cup of coffee, I suspect. Uh, in an Armageddon game, would you rather be the player with more or less time? There is a, There are very, very different uh, schools of thought on this. I think I played... I only really remember the, the only Armageddon I played in my life, which was, I think it was... A, 2006 uh, World Blitz Championship in Israel and I tied for first with Alexander Grishuk and we played an Armageddon game for the title. Uh, I think we flipped for it and I won the flip and chose black and then Sasha said why did we waste time flipping I would have chosen white anyway. So already there you see that there are people with very very differing opinions on this. And uh, 
draw was obviously enough for me to become world champion and I had a very very easy draw and decided to make a beautiful draw instead and the beautiful draw I was planning on making wasn't a draw at all so that was the closest I came to a FIDE world title in, in, in any format <clears throat> well I mean I was world junior champion at one point but not since then hmm. We won that game. Congrats! I once scored a lot of points in the German youth team competition playing ball three for Hamburg. It's true, six and a half out of seven. That is a very, very respectable result. Mm -hmm. Closest yet, says Mr. Dodge. No matter how much you try to suck it up for to, to us, we are still not stopping the the age discussion the age discussion is ageless <clears throat> now let's settle it once and for all how old are you mr dodgy i like this username it's a great username i think we might have faced this this very opponent in the past he's the indian anand which as opposed to it's like the american chuck norris I did not play an Armageddon game against Karakin in Baku, if you mean Baku. Uh, I lost before we got to Armageddon. We were one we were one game away from getting to Armageddon there, but I did not. I did oh! Not. And the Indian Anand is playing the Vienna against... People have actually discussed renaming this opening the Vienna. That's how well I know it. <laughs> I like this idea. Mm -hmm. I'm out of book. Here? I think they go here. <clears throat> aren't you supposed to? Well, I'm not going to argue, but aren't you supposed to play with page 6 at some point? Nope. Okay. Is there a Chess 24 video article that explains what Armageddon Chess is, says uh, S. Lars. It's a, very, Lars? it's a very simple concept. White gets more time and black gets draws. This guy is so booked up. I'm fed up already. Well, it's quite clearly uh, one, of, one of the... I, we can obviously hover over his username and see, but it's one of the, I assume, the, the Indian kids who are all grandmasters by the age of uh, nine and a half and uh, uh, unsurprisingly quite well booked up. How's this endgame? Do I win the endgame? Rough guess is no, but you can try. If at first I don't succeed? Then you offer a draw and we play a different player. Oof. So booked up. Look at this guy. I'm actually, I'm somewhat more surprised you, you were so, like, uh, uh, the Indian kids these days is just know everything and, and they play well and, uh, and how is that any, surpri any surprise at all, but you're still not stopping for anything and continuing to blitz out all these moves is very, very impressive. All this stuff is still in my video series. <sighs> Is this move still in your video Rook series? Rook d3 is a novelty. My video series says Rook fc8, but I think it also says stay away from this line. You have to suffer. Do I take or do I play some like active move? Maybe I'll play some active move. Never a mistake to play an active move. Not so sure about that. What's happening, Indian Anand? Out of book? And Dodgy replied to your question about how old he is. He is claiming to be 32 and a quarter. 32 in a quarter or and a quarter? And a quarter. Hmm. I thought you were going to play h4. I was going to do it now. Why do we... That seems... Suboptimal, but... Maybe not. <clears throat> Maybe we just don't win, yeah? Because he just... <clears throat> kind of sticks around. I don't think he can afford to go rook a2, but... Do we win if he... Maybe we do, yeah. I don't know. It's, it doesn't strike me as very pleasant for black. Like maybe you survive, but will you enjoy the ride? 
Yeah, mm. not not something I would have wanted to include in my report. Why? You don't like F3? Uh, hang on a second. Oh, we're, we're mm, actually... We can go here. I thought rookie 7 and d7 was just winning, but maybe I'm blind. Mm, maybe you're right. Mm. Yeah, and after a2 we could go king h2 there. We still probably will have to go king h2, but we kind of lost half... Lost tempo, maybe? Maybe not, yeah. Wicked. Win some tempi, you lose some tempi. It's like I always say. Tempis come and go. But pawns are forever. Okay, I shouldn't blunder some rook takes t7. Um, do I actually... Yeah, it's not so easy, yeah? No, I think now we kind of have to take on a 5 and hope he takes on d7 and then we flag him in a 3 against 2. Mm. Oh, no, that doesn't sound like fun. I don't think many things sound like fun anymore here. <coughs> rook a5, maybe? Because rook f7, king g8, I think we're yeah, might yeah, slightly yeah, worse here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a stretch. <clears throat> that's upsetting. It is very upsetting, yeah. I'm upset. Yeah, and uh, people in chat saying two GMs versus an amateur. This is not an amateur. This is somebody who is... Yeah, it's a draw. Is, yeah, it's just a draw. I know. We if not we, much I can do. If we had something, it was slightly earlier. <clears throat> yeah, I don't even feel like flagging. Draw. Wow, so booked up. Still, I think this line it might be a draw with best play, but it really doesn't look like fun this end game. No, it shouldn't be. Could be that all of this is just holding, but yeah, probably. Well, rook f seven was stupid. Much but also, but, uh, but is this winning? Uh, maybe, maybe not because he actually still is somewhat in time. Yeah, d seven a two, and uh, okay, after rook eight, rook d seven seems to be here. He takes yeah. rook a eight though. Ah, rook a eight a one exactly. Yeah, uh, and if king h two after the previous move, yeah, d seven a two, king h two. He's in time to play h six now. Yeah. Yeah. H six and rook eight. There's still rook d seven. Yeah, there's still rook d seven. Maybe just holds. That might have been what I said in my series, but in general, yeah, I didn't like this endgame very much. You don't have to go for it. You can play rookie five as well, and then, you know, put the pieces somewhere. Anyway, good game, Indian Anand. Very unfair. You know all the theory. <clears throat> Extremely unfair. So which one is it? I don't know. It's not in the bio? No, the username is pretty self-explanatory. <clears throat> it's the Indian Anand. Fair enough. <clears throat> Do you want to play against Sight Mode, maybe? Sure. Or I'll tell you what piece to move. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was... Um, okay. Mm, move yeah, the pawn, pawn, please. Let's go. I'll accept it. Sight Mode is German for time trouble. Who knew? Most people knew. Um, move a horse. Bishop. Bishop. King. Bishop. What a bishop already. Um, pawn. I think this is the reason they don't do it, but... Yeah, they normally don't start with b5. Pawn. Knight. It's not completely ridiculous. It's fairly ridiculous. Night. Thank you. Pawn. <clears throat> Pawn. 
Spawn. Spawn. Oh dear. <laughs> but I don't want to. It's the beauty of hand and brain and pawn. All right, let's not move a pawn. Rook. Not that rook. Mm. Mm, rook. So you, you're not going to allow me to play any active moves until we've established all of the chess culture. Yeah. <laughs> um, bishop. Don't disagree. On the, or on the knight. Just generally find it easier not to disagree with you. I don't know. I enjoy and debate. Knight. I think objectively taking on f6 first may have been cleaner. Because well. knight 67 now might actually make some sense. <clears throat> Bishop. Bishop. Yeah, this is kind of the absolute dream scenario White is aiming for in the structures. You and your Pioneer's Palace education. I'm just trying to grab pawns, but they're also well defended. And Ulong Kalufid says Grishuk taking over the press conference talking about all of his weird Armageddon games. Hilarious. Yeah, I can believe that. I don't believe it. <laughs> Queen. I think it's well established by this point that Sasha is the best interview out there. Um, knight Shyamalan. And Vice Pilgrim asked if I if I also stream on my own channel. My channel is kind of dormant. And when it wasn't dormant, it wasn't streaming chess. Rook. So. Play g6 one time. Sorry. Yeah, come on. You want to play bishop g7 next move, don't you? Need to fianchetto the bishop. He doesn't do it. So upset. Yeah, um, nice. it's also a good move as well, which is uh, kind of piling on the misery. I still like our position. We have more active horses. Yeah. And there's some potential pawns up for the taking. Which, if you guys remember my chess method, is number two on the degressive scale. I've tried to grab that rook, but he didn't go g6, so I couldn't do it. So now oh, he, he, could, he, could still go, he could still go g6. Rook. Okay. That's in the spirit. Yeah, let's just collect all of them materials. I liked. Mm. Feels like we should be winning by force now, but. Yeah, I don't see it. So I'll say rook. <laughs> Mr. Dodgy says active horses aren't always good. And this is another subject where we have been taking his word. Uh, has as... anybody seen any proof that he actually has a. Horse farm? Rook. Seriously? Okay. Sure. Well, I've seen some pictures on Twitter, but they are very, very nondescript. And either fi 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 feature horses or Mr. Dodgy, but I don't think... Queen. Uh, I, I don't think there are any pictures which feature both. That's what I'm saying. So maybe Mr. Yeah. Dodgy is a horse. I don't know. He could, he could just be a con artist who created this elaborate 
fake online, identity for himself. Online persona. In order to... I don't know. What's your endgame, Mr. Dochi? Yeah. That's what we want to know. What's the long con you're running? Queen. I can confirm. Can I please, please? Can I? No, no, no. Um... Also, I like that you didn't give a second of thought to Queen Takes D8. Uh, <laughs> giving mate. Um, we will also be giving mate after Queen Takes D8, to be fair. But I didn't see it was a move that I could make, to be honest. I can, okay, knight. I can confirm there are no pictures of me near those animals, says Mr. Dodgy. They are huge. All right. Boom. We won that one. All right. Last game of the day that we will actually play yep. after that. We will talk about a lot of games because then you don't have to make moves and you can focus on the horse strokes. And let's play against Chess Pretty Girl. Could very well be another of Mr. Dodge's identities, but it she does have an official feeder title. So I'll just assume for now. It's not Mr. Dodgy. Yeah. You're the brain, I'm the hand. Yeah, Grishuk does call me Peter, and uh, let's not make factually wrong statements and follow them up with uh, insults of that particular nature. Give me a move. Uh, are and we doing hand and brain again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knight? Excellent. And Hot Valentino says, I can confirm Mr. Dodgy has the biggest animals. Take your time. Pawn. <clears throat> Do you watch this? I think you should leave with Tim Robinson. Pawn. On Netflix. No. Nope. It's a comedy sketch show. It has a part about... Pawn. Okay, if you insist. Horses feature prominently, but less prominently than they usually feature. Bishop. Boom. Let's show this from the other side. Very exciting. Knight. Yeah, that's upsetting, yeah, knight. I don't know any theory. It's okay. You don't have to. Just make what feels right. Uh, bishop. Seriously? Okay. Uh, king. That was probably already a mistake. No, uh, no, it's all fine. Knight. Is this some kind of a forced Mamidarov draw, Queen? I think so, yeah. I think I won at knight e7 here, but there was some Duda Mamidarov game, which I can't recall that ended in a forced draw. Uh, knight? I think we're actually still following it. <laughs> who wouldn't? Oh, somebody who wanted a, a fighting game. <clears throat> Whoever that... Uh, I don't Disturbed know. individual is. Still feels like it's full of fight. We're pawn up. And chess pretty girl. It's taking a pretty long time here. Queen. Pawn. Yeah, I feel. I think in, in Duda's game, Black somehow managed to lose a pawn by this point. Yeah, here we still have more pawns. So I'm fairly optimistic. Yeah, that, this 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 looks nice. It's opposite color bishops, but there's still a lot of other stuff on the board, so should be some chances. Um, rook. Maybe starting with bishop f5 was cleaner. Yeah, I thought so too. But, um, we're still bishop doing fine now. We're also ahead on the clock. What's not to like? Rook. Mm. Okay. Queen. 
trying to figure out what he wanted here. No, I wasn't sure. Queen. Hmm. Yeah. That was less than ideal. Pawn. Maybe it's not really that bad, you know. Bishop. Don't know where. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I thought allowing rookie seven was a mistake, and also I think she should have played rookie seven on the previous move. All right. Pawn. 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 Hmm. Rook. Yeah, apart from flagging, I'm not sure how we're winning this position. <laughs> uh, pawn. Do we need more than one way to win it? Pawn. Probably not, no. Bishop. Rook. Pawn. Bishop. Bishop. King. Queen. Queen. King. Queen. 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 When you say Queen, you mean Queen, right? <laughs> yeah. Very confusing. It is extremely confusing, yeah. Yeah, anyway, there was another expert flag. Um, as for theory, I'm not sure how this game went exactly, but there was some trick that Black had to give the pawn back, which didn't happen in our game. How was it? Maybe some rook to e1? Yeah, how did, how did White win this Nine pawn five. back? I do recall there was some bishop e7. I guess bishop d5 things. first and then e5 bishop f4 or something something like along those lines. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Black, for some reason, returned the c7 pawn. Might have been literally this and not yeah. takes queen e7. I'm sure f4 maybe. Not sure. Anyway, that was it for today. We'll be back in half an hour, but we'll be behind the paywall because we are starting our coverage of the Norway Chess Super Tournament. Featuring almost literally the top 10 in the world with, I think, one or two exceptions. Magnus Carlsen, Fabian Carana, all the guys are there. Today is a Blitz tournament where the seating gets decided for the main tournament, which mainly affects who gets five whites, who gets five yeah. blacks, really. So the players have something to play for. It will be nine rounds starting 6.30. We will be covering every round, including the Blitz tournament, and then every day tomorrow from 5 p.m. We are... As mentioned, only a show for Chess24 Premium members. There's a bunch of bonus codes if you want to come check out our show. So I'll let you know all about it. If you mainly want to watch the show and maybe try out the video series or the band of blitzes or whatever Chess24 has to offer, go to chess24.com slash premium and enter. Choose a monthly subscription and enter the voucher code Norway minus 2019 minus trial. That gets you. An extra free month on top, so you pay whatever it is, I think, $9.99 for two months of Chess24. If you're saying, I am not afraid of commitment, I want to hang out the whole year on Chess24, you can get three extra months with the bonus code NORWAY-2019. And currently there's also this thing where if you become a yearly or multi-year member, you get a lovely, lovely Chess24 hoodie with it. I'm not sure if these hoodies get washed before or not, but I would assume they're so fresh out of the fabric, there's no odor to them whatsoever. That, however, I can't promise. Like, read the fine print. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back in... In a bit, yeah. Yeah, like 25 minutes, whatever, 
on Chess24 with the Blitz of Norway Chess. Hopefully, see you there. Yeah. Bye-bye.